back to the Brutal View. Episode 29, I am Brute. Oh, I, fuck. I'm John. <laughs> I am Eddie. Eddie. Um, or as the Mexicans call me, Gringo. Nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should start with this. I don't know. How, how's your week been since last week? It's just great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was like, I shouldn't have asked that because I didn't have a good week either. And Fucking, we got snow, man. We did get snow. Snow sucks. How was your week? <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll just start with, uh, I, I listened to Joe Rogan's podcast exclusively on Spotify. Have you tried listening to it on Spotify? No. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan. The Joe Rogan experience. Not Joe Rogan, I shouldn't say that. But uh, that podcast is dead. Really? That's the most annoying fucking thing I've ever tried to listen to in my life. Through Spotify? I have Spotify Premium. And there's six minutes of ads before the episode starts. It's like that when you listen to it. Six minutes of ads. He does all his that. No, it's like that on Google Play, too. Is it really? Well, wait, was it Joe Rogan's ads or yes. Spotify? Yeah. Yes, him the, doing his ads. Yeah. So it forced you to listen to it before you could start. Well, I could, no, I could, like, skip through it. Oh, I couldn't skip through it on Spotify. Oh, no shit. Yeah, it was like that on Google Play when I was listening to it on that. And like, you'd, like, fucking fast forward it, and then you're halfway through an interview, you're like, all right, six hours long, I yeah. got fucking big fat thumbs. Wait, I thought his new episodes only came out on Spotify, and that's it. Oh, this was a while ago. Like, when Google Play was still a thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this was, like, before he announced it. Okay. Well, I guess now, on the only platform you can listen to, Spotify, you can't skip the fucking ads. They're two minutes each, and it's three different ads. So after the first one, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's get into the episode now. And another one starts. I'm like, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I look at how long it is, two minutes. I'm like, all right, mute it. Just do something else for two minutes. Go back. Okay, here we go. Another one starts. So I'm already living at that point. Um, I want to, like throw my shit i start listening to the bill burr episode because he just was on oh i did see that i didn't watch it but i saw that he was on it yeah got like 10 15 minutes in solid fucking podcast so far and i accidentally click it to go back to the beginning and it replayed all six ads and you can't all three. fast forward you can't it? fast forward through them dude and i pay for spotify premium so i don't get ads that's fucking. but weird. they force me to listen to his ads on his episode i can't skip through them I'm never listening to that podcast again. Dude, that boy's getting paid, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like oh, yeah. Way more than one. He probably has a big enough fan base where it won't fucking matter either. But, yeah. man, it was, it's never been so difficult to listen to a podcast that I loved. So, yeah, rest bah. in peace of the Joe Rogan That's experience. Out, you can't fast forward it. Yeah. And I pay for Spotify Premium. I don't know. That just shit just pissed me off. Because you can fast forward through songs on Spotify, right? Yes. You can do anything with Spotify Premium. I can download songs so I can listen to them offline. I can fast, I can skip as many songs as I want. I, there's never any ads. But on Joe Rogan's fucking thing, specifically, there's three two-minute ads. You can't skip through them, and they force you to listen to them. And if you accidentally restart the episode, they force you to listen That's to them again. Up. That's yeah. kind of weird. It's like, yo, this <laughs> is... But they did implement the video shit. On Spotify, so you can like watch. There's a little video that comes up now, like specifically on the episode you're oh, watching. Shit. Yeah, it's not that good. There's kind of a delay. So, oh. R.I.P. Joe Rogan experience. Never gonna. Never, never gonna, gonna bring you up. <laughs> never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Is that what it is? <laughs> desert you. I miss, um, I miss getting Rick rolled, bro. Yeah, right? Those are the days. New Call of Duty trailer. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> when porn was on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the good days. Call 603-922-4074 or email 
The um, brutal view at gmail.com. Just brutal view at gmail.com. Brutal view. The in front of it. I, I keep fucking it up every sh- every episode. Um, how do you feel about like Zoom dating? That's so weird. Yeah. I feel like, especially going on like a first couple dates, everything's always awkward. I feel like it'd be, I would like be like double awkward talking to some stranger, bro, through the fucking Zoom. I don't know. Do you think it would be more awkward? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's just like like like, like, Skyping. uh, It's just, you know, just like, oh, hey, Skype me. That used to be popular when we were like middle school. What was that other one? Uvu. Uvu, dude. I saw some titties on Uvu. (laughs) (laughs) Uvu was the shit. (laughs) Dude, fucking chat roulette and all that wild shit. Omegle? Omegle, yeah. Whatever. That that, just... That's going for a comeback, dude. Everyone uses it now. What? Yeah. Guess <laughs> what we're doing <laughs> after looking... this, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, you should bring it up while I'm talking. That's wild. I thought, um, well, I guess that kind of makes sense with the pandemic, though, right? Because, like, everyone's sitting inside on their laptops anyways. <laughs> all right. We're done with that. <laughs> all right. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Unanal. I don't even think I anal. <laughs> we just randomly started. I do want to keep like a little chunk of that. So that's Omegle's back. Yeah. <laughs> that's fire. We should 100% do that for a Patreon thing. That's so fucking funny. Um, yeah, so Zoom dates, I think, is what we were talking about. <laughs> uh, I thought that was someone's booty hole, bro. <laughs> I love how they kept it there for like... A few seconds I just know. to like see like the reaction. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> we gotta set the camera up. Eventually. Yeah, you know? we're definitely gonna. We're do doing that. that like once an episode. Yeah. This is gonna be a quick episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, it was uh, Zoom dates. So apparently, yeah. I don't know. I couldn't do it. Apparently, online shit's real, but um, I didn't imagine that. I guess uh, that's a big thing for the Gen Z right now. So Zoom dating. Is a Zoom date, you got to order DoorDash from the same restaurant. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Dude, that, I just started a fucking... I'm going to start a business, bro. <laughs> it's a Tinder date thing, but you get dinners, and it's from DoorDash. You should probably... I could cut that out. Dude, that's... You could... You could that's a pretty good idea. I'm that's a wicked fucking smart that's idea. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. How do I do? We got to get this going, bro. I mean, there's definitely on their website or something, on one of the websites, just try to contact them and just put like business proposition or something along to make it smart. <laughs> oh, dude, that business proposition. Sick, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, that could be like a million dollar idea that you just randomly thought of. You should write that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to make a note of that, bro. It's pretty good. We're so off track this episode. <laughs> what about Zoom weddings? A Zoom wedding? Yeah. What if you got invited uh, to a Zoom wedding tomorrow? Let's say I don't got a webcam, man. Can't make it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I feel weird. like I I wouldn't mind it because actually, yeah, you could know. be ass naked from the waist down. Wait, like in my wedding? Or I'm, I'm getting invited to a wedding. Actually, I guess both. So you wouldn't have a Zoom wedding. I've, I mean, that wouldn't even be that bad if you had it because you wouldn't have to. You got to save a lot of money there. Save a lot of money. You don't have to invite people. They can just show up to the. The video conference, whatever it is. And you could get wicked fucked up, Everyone would be wasted. People would probably just cut their cameras off at random times. That'd be fucking... (laughs) That's actually, yeah, that's a pretty fucking... I mean, I don't think it's... Like, a real wedding is, like, kind of dope and fire as fuck, so... They kind of miss out on, like, the actual wedding, I guess, but... I don't know. I don't think that'd be that bad of an idea. Um, yeah. So we talked about Jake Paul. I wanted to bring this up. I was gonna yep. forget. We should. We, we should talked talk about the Jake about Paul fight. Yeah. And everyone's saying he's racist. Yes. It, is it racist that he knocked out a black man? Why is that even a question, bro? How could that possibly be racist? And Nate Robinson is the one who called him out. And it's Just like throw that out a there. professional fight, dude. Like yeah. they're getting paid a lot of money to do this. Yeah. Like that was a stupid fucking question like, from that woman. This is what this world has come to, bro. Yeah. That like that's even a fucking question. 
I'm actually, I probably would have kind of lost my shit. He kind of kept his cool. I mean, he said that's a shitty question on live yeah. TV, but <laughs> I would have been like, are you fucking stupid? Like, yeah. why the hell would you even say that? Like, trying to entice something? What the hell? Yeah. Um, did you see that Logan Paul and Mayweather <laughs> are, like, fighting? Like, I'm pretty sure that's, like, happening. So what's an expedition? Ex- exp- expedition? Like, it's not for, like, any... Like, it's not a win-loss type of thing. Uh, like, it doesn't count for your record. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So, like, Floyd won't be, like, a one on his record if he loses somehow. <laughs> Do you imagine that? He just beat the fuck out of Floyd Mayweather, No bro. fucking way. No, just that imagine. would be crazy. It would be wild, dude. <laughs> Everyone's just like, uh, uh, uh. Mayweather and fucking... Bro! What? <laughs> bro, get me out of this, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I've been thinking about chat roulette. I was like, I'm gonna look it back up because I don't even know if it's still a thing. The first video, some guys playing with this ding dong, bro, like rubbing it. Like, wait, so you were on Omegle before, and that was that was chat roulette, bro. This guy's ding dong just fucking chilling. Immediately a ding dong. Come on, man. (laughs) I almost told you to record your screen when we started recording, so then we can use your screen as the third edit. Then everything you look up, we can use that in the video. Why have I never done that before? That's really smart. Yeah, my bad. And that's our man's wiener. Yeah, so Logan Paul <laughs> and uh, Mayweather. Um, Mayweather's going to murder him. And I don't want to hear anything else about that. That'd be fucking sweet, dude. Yeah. Logan Paul in his ass, beat. Mayweather's going to beat the shit out of Logan Paul. And I can't even say he's going to beat the shit out of him because Mayweather's not really like a... F- like, he doesn't fight, fight that aggressive. Like, kind of a defensive yeah. fighter. But, I mean... He does. I mean, look at his record. <laughs> yeah. I think it speaks for itself. So, why do the look? Why do the Paul brothers think they can like fight? Dude, Is they it? made their money from Vine, bro. Yeah. Remember that fuck? Like that's so fucking weird, man. They're like one of like the thirty people that got famous on Vine. It's fucked up. Yeah. David Dobrik. Yeah. Why can't I be him, bro? Just making YouTube, getting millions of dollars. Maybe one day. That's so fucking silly. Yeah. Got to find something that people will fucking... I don't know. Something that attracts a lot of people's attention, I guess. And you got to have a lot of money. Like, you're not having a lot of money to start. It's yeah. pretty hard to push it out there. It is Marketing true. and promoting is so expensive. This is a lazy episode, if you guys can't tell. Probably going to be on the shorter side, too. But, uh... Fuck em, right? Fuck em. Fuck em. Fuck them. Yeah, the Paul brothers uh, f- calling out super athletes nonetheless. That's the one of the things I wanted to say. Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Like, if there's any people those two shouldn't have called out, it's those two people. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like The two baddest dudes in each sport. Right. Fucking idiots, but if they both fight and they make it entertaining and they get anything above $50 million, they won. And we can't talk shit, so... And they're gonna you know, get paid, dude. Yeah, that's a fat fucking payday for some dope fucking shit. Yo, you should start thinking of some gun to your heads. I don't have any, and we gotta do that every gun episode. Gun to your head? Alright. Gun to your head. Bottle of wine to your face without stopping. So you have to chug the whole thing. Or five shots of whiskey back to back without stopping. How big of a wine bottle? Big your wine. average? I don't know. Whatever the biggest one is not like the big like circular with the handle not that one but like i guess your average yeah the glass ones that you normally see yeah, yeah. i'd probably do wine yeah Chug what kind of whiskey about. i don't know um but i know the whiskey's gonna hit a lot harder <laughs> yeah maybe what kind of wine if it's yeah. anything of my choice probably wine still disgusting wine really good whiskey like a maple whiskey, but it's you not take that gro- strong. You maple. want gross wine? Yeah. I'm trying to even the odds because the whiskey is obviously a worse choice. Oh, So I'm oh, saying the oh, wine oh, is oh, absolutely okay. terrible and the whiskey is really delicious. Like, why wouldn't you want a good taste of wine, bro? Yeah. Gun to your head. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We'll see you next week. Uh, <laughs> You see uh, Elon Musk and his Mars talks recently? 
No. You haven't? Oh. They, like, deployed some shit, and it, like, went really far, like, further than it's ever gone. And he no thinks shit, we're going to really? be... He put, it, he put out a statement, we're going to be on Mars by 2026. No shit. Six fucking years. Oh, five years, I guess, because it's about to be 2021. I did see fucking the, uh, like, some scientist from fucking Israel... Was like aliens are ready to see us when we're ready. Yeah, and fucking Joe Rogan's like, "All right, guys, I want to see these motherfuckers." But I'm like, if that was true, if aliens contacted someone in fucking Israel and they're like, "Hey, we're ready," make everything fucking calm down, bro. Right. And it's like, look at this year, bro. They're like, "What the fuck? Nope." Yeah. Keep fucking flying. I don't know. I don't think he would have came out and said this. At like the end of such a horrible year, if he had this information before, I think he might have just been nuts. Yeah. They say he's a scientist, right? Some scientists are crackheads, you know. There's like legitimate, right. there's legitimate <laughs> scientists that have like really, really bad addictions, but they're like extremely smart. Like yeah. doctors are the same way. A lot of doctors are addicted to uh, alcohol. They're alcoholics. A lot of doctors are have pill problems. <laughs> anal. Now I should unanal that. I shouldn't keep that in there. <laughs> uh, I think I'm adopted. What? Yeah. Pretty sure I'm adopted. Um, I've always thought since I was a child that it's, it was kind of like different from everyone else in my family in kind of dramatic ways. But there's no baby pictures of me. Like at all. What? <laughs> there's no pictures of me when i was like real young like in my parents room it's only like when i'm like five or six are you fucking with me i'm not fucking with you ask like jake or like fucking any of my close friends i guess which no, i shit. jake <laughs> yeah it uh i kept thinking about it more and more in the past like few years and then i didn't give a shit <laughs> and it came back to me again and i was like i definitely am adopted I don't think I look like anyone else in my family. I don't, do you think I do? I feel like you look like your brother. I do think I look like my brother. That is true. And they do have pictures of my brother, but there's no pictures of me. <laughs> Maybe they just fucking hated you, dude. Yeah. Maybe you're a little fucking devil. I was a piece of shit kid. I was like Dude's screaming like, nonstop. You want to be a cunt? We're not taking pictures of you, bitch. That's probably <laughs> it. Yeah. And they were like, we're going to trick him. We're going to keep these up his whole life until he asks us. <laughs> just to fuck with him. Well, yeah. I mean, I've asked them before, but they just, like, laughed. I think they thought I was kidding. I don't remember if they said yes or no, but I'm pretty sure they thought it was a joke either way. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I uh, might be adopted. I still think I am adopted, to be honest. The fact that everyone has baby pictures, dude. Like, everyone. That's pretty weird. That is weird. Oh, yeah. Do you care that we're going to be on Mars uh, by 2026? <laughs> back to that. That's pretty dope. <laughs> do you, um, like, th- like, what do you think that means? Like, what does it mean we're going to be on Mars? Like, like, there's never been astronauts on Mars, huh? No. So that's probably what it means, right? Like, we're going to land on Mars like we have the moon. That's weird, bro. We haven't been to Mars. I feel like it's weird that we've only been to the moon once, twice. How many times have we been to the moon? <laughs> Look at it up. <laughs> it has to be like... No, because we've been going there constantly since we have first up there, right? I think we haven't... Why, why do I feel so stupid on this right now? Um, complete... Six complete crewed, crewed missions to the moon that landed. Six? Yeah. Okay, well, that's still pretty good. And then recently they shot up, right? Yeah. That's why it was a big deal, because the last one was in 1972. Wait, no. They didn't go to the moon. can't be. can't be. 79, right, was when they went? No, 69. 69 is when they went. 72 was the last year. Wait, so they went six times between 69 and 72? (laughs) Yeah. They haven't been there once since 2019? (laughs) Braid? How the fuck are we expected to colonize? That's so far out of the reach then. If it's been 30 years and we haven't done fucking anything. 
Aren't we the only people to ever land on the moon? No, I think the Russians and the Chinese did it. I don't know. I think the Russians did it, but said they didn't, and I don't know about the Chinese. I just said that. I'm pretty sure it's only the fucking U.S. of A. Wah, wah, wee, wah. I feel like, have you seen Space Force? Steve Carell? Oh, yeah. I feel like it's like that, where China and Russia are there, but they just don't, like, advertise it to America. So we don't know. <laughs> just the United States. I don't believe it. So wait, what happens when we land on the moon? Like... Do they just chill there for, like, a few hours? <laughs> uh, I think they stay there for a while, man. Not, like, on the moon, though. They stay, like, on ships, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you sound so stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because... Bro, how do you fucking land on the moon, bro? Yeah. In 1969. Yeah. And we're just, still getting it wrong in I think, 2020. I think it was fake, bro. I do too, Loki. If you think about that, 1969, we were able to fucking fly a ship in space, reverse that bitch, and fucking parallel park it on the moon. <laughs> well, yeah. The and technology then take was off. figured out. All, all the schematics and everything, all the angles, they got all the math down, you know? It's not like... They didn't, like, not plan that out. I feel like it's fake that they actually got there and landed. But I think they had the potential to do it. That's weird. I don't think they like physically touched the surface, to be honest. I think they just went around it and were like, we just gotta say we did it. Yeah. <laughs> take a selfie, take a selfie. <laughs> yeah, and then, dude, they definitely just fucking used special effects for that stupid-ass video. They were making fucking Goosebumps movies back then and fucking real stupid, cheesy-ass horror movies. They easily could have replicated a moon landing. Right. You know what I mean? But I like to think that they did land there. <laughs> In my book, they did because no other country has, right? That's what it's saying. I have a shirt, actually, that says only country to go land on the moon. Just America's an American flag. <laughs> it's actually a dope shirt. I feel like I should get one of those. Yeah, so uh, I was thinking of having like a Christmas pod next week. I don't know if you'd want to do anything, though, because like... I'm not going to dress up. Ugly sweaters, bro. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, that's probably it then. <laughs> get litty titty. Yeah. And then we could have a New Year's one the following week, because like the, they, since they drop so much later than... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like now, this isn't going to drop for what, five fucking days? <laughs> of course, yeah. it's hella early. Fucking that stupid bitch Ellen has COVID. Yeah, you see Mark Norman. It's because she just got a staph infection. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, pretty funny. I don't like Ellen anymore. Yeah. I mean, I never really like. Well, I don't know. I didn't really have anything against her, but I don't really care for her. I don't. I don't have an opinion of her, I guess. And apparently, she's a bitch. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep that in? Should I just keep... censor it? I don't know. It sounds like that might be. <laughs> I'll censor it. I'll bleep it out just in case. Uh, oh, yeah, to conclude that other wild, stupid ass thought we keep coming back to, I don't think we're going to colonize on the moon or Mars until like 2100 or something. Yeah, it's going to be a long ass time. Like all this talk of landing on the moon. Elon Musk, he's smart, but. Americans are fucking stupid. <laughs> right, need, yeah. You know what I mean? We need a good 50 or 100 of Elon Musk's out there to, to get together to go up there. So, yeah, we'll get back to it, hopefully. <laughs> go to America. We go on moon. Oh, yeah, IG question. Uh, best Christmas movie of all time. I feel like we briefly said something like this last week. But, oh, my God. We were going over, um, like, top movies and top holiday movies. What? What's the best Christmas movie of all time? Because hmm. I've rethought this. The best Christmas movie? Strictly Christmas. You now, like the old uh, Santa Claus's Christmas story. Um, Fucking Christmas Vacation or Christmas Story. What's Christmas Vacation? You've never seen Christmas Vacation, bro? I probably have, but like, could you remind me or show me an image? 
pull it up. The fucking Griswolds guy. Oh yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Full. This. Yeah, this is kind of older, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a fucking good one. Hella fucking good. I'm not gonna lie, a Christmas story is up there for me. Um, that's the one where he gets the his tongue stuck on the pole, right? Yeah. I fucking love that movie. They play it for twenty four hours straight, bro, on TBS every year. Yeah, Santa Claus, the original one with Tim Allen. Those those movies were pretty good to me. Um, Elf is pretty good though. Elf is good. I made mean, like. I feel like when I was like a child though, I liked like the family ones better than like, like the Rudolph and. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, even the Grinch when I was a kid, I liked that better than than fucking Elf. Um, but I think the best Christmas movie of all time is. Fuck, I just forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, fucking, that's a wicked good that's movie. That's the best Christmas movie of all time. What is the name of that movie? Right? I just forgot it. Could you, yeah, you want to pull up uh, Arnold? Like Arnold, then Christmas? <laughs> Guarantee that'll fucking. It's like the. Robo Man? Robo uh, That's what it. Is that it? Yeah, I know that's the guy he gets. Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. That's Best a... Christmas movie of all time, in my opinion. Hit home to me when I was a kid. That one just resonated more than all the other ones. I fucking loved it. Um, I the Grinch is probably second for me. What about you? It'd probably go, probably go with the Christmas Story. Classic. It's probably like I could watch it every year and be like, I fuck with this. Is Home Alone a Christmas movie? It yeah. kind of is, right? And um, Ooh. do I like that better than the Grinch? Though I might like the Grinch better than that. And I mean the Jim Carrey Grinch. I know there's like five. Oh, new I ones. love the Jim. That is a good. That's the Polar a... Express is fucking pretty good. See, I like that one, but I f- I didn't see that until I was in like high school. Is that like old or is that newer? No, it's pretty new. Oh, it is. Okay, maybe I thought I was late to the party on that one. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas, man. That movie's so goddamn good. I'm sticking with Jingle all the way, though. This is a good list. White Christmas? I don't this remember like that. This Santa Claus. Remember it. Jack Frost. That's a fucking good one, too. That's man. a good-ass movie, too, yeah. What about uh, the Batman with... um? The Penguin? Yeah. That's a Christmas Danny one. DeVito as the Penguin. That, I think that was kind of that came out around Christmas, right? Because like Harry Potter, Harry Potter Two is kind of a Christmas movie. Is Harry Die Hard 3. really a Christmas movie? Die Hard is considered. That's one of the ones that came out like. On I've never Christmas. seen Die Hard. Which one? Any of them? Oh, tried to watch Pulp Fiction the other night, but. Yeah, all of Quentin Tarantino's movies they're they're slow, so you got to have time and patience. What's that other one that was on there? The Hateful Eight. Yeah. Is that a good one? Amazing, amazing. That one, um, Netflix actually split into four one-hour segments because there's so much extra footage in there. So if you want to watch like a four-episode series, see that. you can watch it. It's amazing. I don't know what the fuck that was. What's your favorite like cartoon Christmas story? Ooh. Um, Including what's Charlie that, Bound Christmas. What's that old one where it's like kind of 3D, but it's like really bad graphic 3D? That's going to bug me. I should see what the IG question said, too. Let's see. Uh, this one? Yes, that one. Um, what is that? How did you find that so fast, dude? You should be the tech guy. <laughs> um, it's Mr. Heatmore. What? That is not the No, but it's movie. like, I'm Mr. Heatmore. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that damn little fucking kid. Um, that might be my favorite because... I, I saw it so many times. I can't think of that many, though. What do you have in mind? Um, Probably Rudolph. I feel like that's such an OG. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> is that it? It was some wild-ass name. I don't know if that's the whole name. I feel like it was like Santa Claus is something. Maybe just Santa Claus is coming. Uh, one of the IG questions said Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh... Scratch that. Four of them said Nightmare Before Christmas. One says Santa Claus movie with Tim Allen. All of them. Uh, another person said, if you're lounging out with the family, a Christmas story. 
that's actually like the bulk of them. Rudolph, the Grinch. They kind of all had the same ones that we had. Hmm. This one was pretty good. I don't know if you've seen that on Netflix. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah, no, that is pretty good. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, see, there's some newer Christmas movies. Like, So I think um, The Night Before with Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Never seen it. 2019, you've never seen that movie? You no. look up The Night Before. I don't know actually why you would. I mean, you've never seen it. But dude, that movie's like one of Seth Rogen's best movies, I think. Like when it comes to like comedies. Is this like The Office Party? No. Okay, I haven't seen it then. You need to put that. You should probably watch that before you watch <laughs> that on any of the classic ones. I don't know, uh, uh, to be honest. I might have to buy it. But if you have the option to somewhere, watch it. Like, Oh, shit. That's Never. personally my favorite movie Seth Rogen has made, like from Pineapple Express all the way up to now. That's my favorite one. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm watching that. It, it's just the story, though. Like, I feel like it is hilariously funny, but it has a really strong story to it, though. So. Yeah, that was a good time for the Christmas ones. I, I kind of like gonna... having the computer, bro. We can just, like, go off. Yeah. I have a feeling um, when they're looking at you on the camera, it might not be that appealing, but we're not really there for the video podcast, right? Fuck them. Like. So I was thinking if I should do any, like, <laughs> <laughs> very quick music segments each week. It just like knocks a... off, like, five, ten minutes, something really wild that could like happen. a new song? No, just something... The popular in music and then ask you about it because you have no idea like you'll have no like oh yeah i don't know biased opinion or anything oh you know? christmas with the cranks that was the movie okay i'm sorry is that the one um that sounds a lot more familiar tim allen oh yeah no that's a good one about mom's christmas was too. naughty 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 bad santa dude bad santa's good too damn yeah <laughs> sorry um yeah, I know nothing about music. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking... Um, so it'd be funny to get my reaction. Right, off. I will definitely pull some funny things um, in music. So I guess this week, the only live thing that's happened recently is that Cardi B tweeted she's going to spend $88,000 for a purse. She doesn't know if she should. And she tweeted that. I hate that dumb bitch. <laughs> Do you really? I, oh, I fucking <laughs> If I wanted one person to get, like, throat cancer, it's her. Jesus, okay. I hate her. Yeah? But she's admitted to, like, drugging men, bro. Yeah. And people idolize her. Yeah. But, like, Bill Cosby did that shit, and he's fucking hated, bro. Right, right. It's, like, stupid shit like that. Yeah. And she doesn't know how to fucking talk. The fact that she was literally, um, she was a stripper, and then, according to some sources, she may have been a lady of the night. Yeah, basically Cardi B went from nothing to this, like, millionaire. And she kind of, like, never changed or did anything. Yeah. Like, she's just, like, still that, like, hood rat. I don't know. Dumb bitch. I feel like I don't really hate her, but that is wicked fucked up. Yeah. She probably should do some jail time. And then come out. But you know she never will. $88,000 for a purse. Yeah, that was the tweet. Forgot about that part. It's a Um, joke. Yeah. Everyone got like wicked mad at her. They're like, "Yo, we're uh, like everyone's we broke. got the Rona, bro. Yeah, everyone's broke. The country's in a pandemic, and you're debating on spending almost a hundred grand on a fucking purse." And I agree <laughs> with them a hundred percent. Like, bro, I I don't. You're have, struggling. I don't have eighty eight grand, and I don't make eighty eight grand. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and you're just going to throw that on a piece of fucking fabric that you're probably going to spill fucking Coke on and have to throw out? Like, come on, man. I don't like that shit. How do you feel about, like, cleaning off your car? Oh, Dude, I fucking hate people that don't. Yeah. The ice shit flying off people's Like, it's trip. not that hard. Yeah. I don't know if any of our listeners, because apparently some of them are from around the globe. Um, Asia, bro, represent. Yeah, shout out to you, man. I don't know if it happens there, but a lot of fucking snow comes down here, up in New Hampshire, and uh, people don't clean off their cars, and the snow like fucking freezes and fucks you all up. Turns into ice, and then when they're driving on like the highway. It flies off their car, and that's basically like a rock coming at you at 50 miles per hour, and it shatters your windshield. Well, 
Last night, 22-year-old kid in Londonderry had to get rushed to the hospital and had glass stuck in his eye and now has to get it surgically removed through multiple procedures. What the Because fuck? someone didn't clean off the top of their fucking car. Jesus Christ. Bro, it went up through the windshield and hit him in the fucking eye. Like, that's like the worst case scenario. And it's been like a week, dude. Yeah. This is like the first, snow. like, decent amount of snow we've gotten. I'm not going to find this video. And that should happen. To a kid in Londonderry, too. That was yeah. fucking right up That's the fucking... That's fucked up. Yeah, right up the fucking road. Right up the road. So, uh, I, I just want to throw it out there. I mean, uh, if anyone ever did that to me, shattered my windshield or hit me, and I was still able to drive, I'm going to drive until I find you, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'd throw my beer right at him, dude. I'm going to drive into them with a the truck, to be honest. I don't care if it kills me at that point. <laughs> you know? We're, we're both going down. You just made me someone with nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> So I know you don't like uh, you haven't watched The Mandalorian. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. Uh, it's ahead. almost over, so you gotta watch that shit. But they're making Kenobi, so it's like a whole story on Obi Wan Kenobi and all that shit. Who's playing him? The OG guy Evan. Oh uh, really? McGregor. McGregor is it? Yeah. He... Yeah. But um. So they're going to start shooting it in Boston. And people are like quoting Star Wars like in a Boston accent. It's like, use the force, kid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, just like stupid shit like use that. Use the force. <laughs> so they're making a Kenobi spinoff type, uh, or a Star- Obi-Wan Kenobi spinoff called Kenobi. Yeah. Disney Plus doing the same thing. Like yeah. uh, it's, it's Disney's doing it. And The Mandalorian's like top oh notch. God, yeah. That's like a high production show, right? That's like Dude, real, like good. Whoever made the Mandalorian should go back and make the last three Star Wars. I heard the writing is like phenomenal. I heard it's the whole fucking, fucking show is amazing. So good. Dude. I don't want you to spoil any part of it for me, but the Mandalorian is focused on that character that I keep seeing that looks like Boba Fett. He's a bounty hunter, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. Couldn't tell from, like, because I don't really... People don't spoil it, which I love. People actually let people watch it, and uh, every time I see I've it, noticed, bro. I just see Baby Yoda and that fucking dude, and I'm like, who's Boba Fett-looking motherfucker? And, yeah. I'm definitely going to get it. I keep forgetting, dude, though. I've been busy fucking week. Yeah. I think it's a seven-day trial you get for Disney Plus anyways. So. Oh, seven-day? What? What you Jews? You have to grind out. Bro, I can't watch... What is it? Are they hour episodes? No, nah, no. No? It was like half hour, 40 minutes. I could probably crank it. Bill Burr's in an episode guy. Yeah, no, I, I remember uh, seeing a clip. Damn, you can get Hulu, Disney, and ESPN now for fucking $7 a month. That's kind of what I have. I have a Hulu, Spotify Plus, and some other weird fucking thing for like 4 bucks or 5 bucks. It's mad cheap. That ain't bad at all, dude. Yeah. Is ESPN Plus like just an ESPN all the time? Yeah, down. I had it and it was wicked gay. I imagine. I thought, like, it it's has just a sports prelims, channel. But it barely has any sports on, like, it would. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, um. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy you... the Mandalorian series? Like, no. from Disney? Fucking Jews. They said if you have a Game Pass, you get a 30 day trial somehow. And then right below that, it's like, and they no longer offer a 30-day trial. Yeah, like through, through them. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I probably would just have to make sure that if I do the uh, ultimate thing on the Xbox, because I'll definitely do that for a while. But, Fuck them. Um... Dude, I talked to this fucking uh, girl in Market Basket. Eight episodes every season. That's doable. So I have to watch 16 episodes in seven days. What is that, eight hours or so? Eight or nine hours? Fucking crank that out in fucking three nights. Um, <clears throat> I talked to a girl that was a uh, fine as fuck at Walmart. Like she was like drop dead gorgeous. Not Walmart, Jesus. Um, market basket. Market basket. Thank you. Uh, two days ago, and the conversation 
and our interaction was going so well and so smoothly that I thought she was setting me up. It was like a too good to be true situation. <laughs> like I like swear she was to undercover God, undercover and she's like, I'm right. sixteen. Like she's friends with someone that I might hate. Oh. I don't know. I have no idea, <laughs> dude. I literally was like, we finished each other's sentences. We both like made the same type of joke. Uh, it was mad weird. We both kind of stumbled into each other, and it was just like all happiness. <laughs> and I was like, this is like the most like lovely conversation my I've man had. falling in love in the market basket right in out. under like 20 seconds <laughs> and i was like why does this feel so like i was like nah this ain't like real type of thing like this is a setup basically yeah. is what i thought so yeah i uh i was just like all right gotta go with <laughs> just walked away to the thing. yeah and uh yeah no i thought trying it was, to hit me <laughs> right <laughs> i thought it was too good to be true um have you had a situation like that i guess in anything, doesn't have to be women. No. No. <laughs> just going really smoothly, and you're just like, mm, this feels too right. I don't know. Not that I can really like. Not like something that's crazy. Yeah, I feel like I've done that a lot in video games. Just like walked through an extremely difficult part, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yeah. Same type of feeling in Market Basket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait like, a second. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm getting out of here. This doesn't make any so sense. Like, your know, brain's just like Halo 3, that one fucking mission where you just walk through. Yeah. Too easy. Yeah, too easy, too easy. Bail, bail. Uh, do you think, um, so when you walk into like Walmart, Shaw's, even Market Baskets, eh, not so much Market Baskets that much right now, but... You, uh, no, I thought of something I wanted to bring up. Do you want to bring it up now? Because no, no, this no. might take a little while. Yeah, keep going. You sure? Yeah. When I walk into most retail stores now, and then a lot of supermarkets, I see two or three registers open. Everything else is self-checkout. Yep. Do you think cashier's jobs are going to be gone in five or ten years? Yep. No doubt. And money's gone, bro. I think it's going to be hurting. I think that's... It's going to be helping the big businesses and the unemployment's going to go up type of thing. <laughs> yeah. But, bro, I went to... So I went to Walmart the other day. And fucking we're walking into the door. And the dude shut the door and locked it right in front of my face. Damn. Like, we were walking up. He looked at us doing his thing. And then he closed the door and then fucking locked it. I walked up to the door and opened looked at the guy and i was just like can we come in didn't say a word bro locked what? the other door and walked right away the fuck? And i was like you little fucking cunt and i'm like you're a manager at walmart man like i ain't that offended but dude, like you might have been like high or something <laughs> i was so fucking pissed off dude jesus he was such a cunt fucking walmart uh but anyways so i got some so shit annoying. went to go check out and it's like card only had cash me i was like can I pay with cash? He's like, no, like we don't accept it. I was like, what do you mean you don't accept cash? I don't so think like, they can legally do that. They're like, oh, there's a coin shortage, so if you have a card, you need to use a card. I'm like, okay, like what the fuck? So you had you used your card? Yeah, but like I was like, I have. And this was like a person at the register. Yeah, like bro, I saying have. He doesn't take cash. Money. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I went to self checkout. But even still, bro, I feel that like... That still doesn't seem... Like, why can't I pay with cash? And you're putting... It's fucking money. The money You're a multi-fucking trillion dollar business, bro. You don't have coins? Right. Fuck out of here. That's fishy. Wicked fishy, bro. That's it was weird. so annoying. I was so... I wanted that place to just fucking blow up right behind right. me when I was walking out, yeah. dude. That guy was a cunt. The machine was a cunt. The lady dude, was a cunt. someone could easily do that, and I'm not saying anyone should, and no one take this seriously, but dude, if you were walking out of Walmart, and you were, like, there's propane tanks just sitting on some <laughs> shelf. Dude, you could just unscrew all of them. You know what I mean? Put a string on the ground, just reel it all the way out to where you're going on the exit, light a match, and light the string on fire, and then by the time you're out by your car, the whole building's up. <laughs> Not saying anyone should do it. I'm just saying it's very possible. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine that does happen to a Walmart after this episode comes out. 
I'd probably have to take the episode down. <laughs> That's all on your lips, bro. I didn't say a word. I just laughed. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be anything on you. And I did say not to do it two times. I'm just saying it's a possible potential it's like, idea. Kill people, burn shit, <laughs> fuck school. Fuck school. <laughs> I missed that, man. What was that? Radicals by uh, Tyler Creator. That's what it was. Yep, 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 yep. Fucking odd future. I wish that was still a thing. Yeah, Tyler Creator's like, now. Yeah. I think probably like can't literally. say that, but he's a he's a pansy. <laughs> he's a <laughs> beep. <laughs> he's a beep now. <laughs> I could say he's a fucking. But I just say he's like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna sound funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is he actually gay? I'm pretty sure. Remember oh. how he always would joke about how he's gay? What? A <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, but yeah, I think he's gay. I don't know, man. He acts really gay. <laughs> That's not a good thing to yeah, say. His either. music ain't the same, bro. It's not, and and I I feel like I saw him say or do something that like confirmed he was gay. I thought he like actually said like, yeah. I'm gay, right? Oh, you are. But I guess we didn't know if it was true. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, because it's fucking Tyler the Creator, so it's yeah. like, it's like Daniel Tosh. I <laughs> know that fucking guy. Like, yeah, and then the penis just slipped right in. I didn't care. It's like, okay, I kind of believe him, <laughs> <laughs> like a shit. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, but uh, cashiers aren't gonna have business jobs in ten years. <laughs> Fuck them, dude. Fuck them. <laughs> We don't want to be here. <laughs> the thing I look at it, though, like a cashier position isn't really like a job you should be like striving for. And it's not a long-term job either. But, like that's like a kid job. But if you just lost a job, yeah, no, you yeah. need to go work somewhere real quick. Like that option is we'll just taken away, but... you know? Yeah, that's true. Like I feel like that's going to be the case at fast food places. Like, you're going to pull up, swipe a card, and a machine's just going to, like, Make dish a tray food. out with your food on it, you know? <laughs> so there won't be people at the window anymore. I don't know. It's slowly, everything's going to get me- mechanized. There's a fucking... Sorry. I was done. That was... No. So, Toyota is making a city. What? Like a straight up futuristic city. What am I watching? The, you, so they're making. The you mean like they're making the a roads, or they're they're making a mock city type of thing? No, like this type of city, bro. Like future. Everything's like solar powered. Everything's like run off of natural energies and shit, dude. Fuck! This is like. <laughs> this is sick, dude. This is actually like. It's really? going to be like all that type of shit, dude. It's based off Mount Fuji in Japan, called the Woven City. It's based on what? It's based of... It's right near Mount Fuji. You say in Japan? Yeah. Yo, shout out to the fucking Asians, man. Elevating the human race. This is legitimate, like, elevation for the human race. Yeah, dude, it says, um, powered by hydrogen fuel cells. An ecosystem powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Okay, well, is hydrogen fuel a natural resource that we need? I don't know. That sounds like that might be. <laughs> Envisions as a living laboratory, the Woven City serves as a home of full-time residents and researchers who will be able to test and develop technology such as optomin... Op- tom- Autonomous. Robotics, personal mobility, Autonomous. smart homes, and artificial intelligence in a real-world environment. Bruh, Toyota's making the Toyota Woven City, a prototype city of the future. Look that up on YouTube. Um, Asians are elevating the race, man. It's pretty dope. It looked like a fucking dope place, too, dude. Solar panel. Everything <laughs> solar panel. or hydrogen fuel energy. That's like a real natural... Next year is going to begin the construction. That, like, actually makes me hopeful for mankind. Right? <laughs> I, I swear to God, like, that actually gives me hope for fucking the human race. This looks so nice. Why mm. can't Americans do shit like that? <laughs> yeah. 
We still don't even know who our fucking president is, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Trump said something again. Today's the 10th, uh, December 10th. He said something today, like, uh, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. We're still going to be, we're like, we're, we still won to, like, all, like, the people that he's, like, talking to. He's like, yeah, it's eight days. He's like, trust me, we won still. Like, it's fine. Like, at this point. I don't know, bro. Like, like. But I guess, like... I don't really care. Like, I just don't want to hear it anymore. I know. I'm so over it, bro. I'm so fucking over it. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. When did we... Wasn't it November 3rd when we voted? Yeah. December 10th. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, retard. Did I tell the story about how I almost went to a Mexican prison? I did briefly in certain areas, but I don't think I actually. I think you have. I've re- really right? brought it up. I feel like I, I can't really anal. Fuck, unanal. Right? Yeah. Um, so there's one time in Mexico. Uh, I was uh really angry, and I was kind of drunk. And I was walking uh to, I guess a bar. I think it was a bar. It was like an open... In Mexico, it's weird. So it was like an open bar and lounge and seating area all in one little like oh, plaza like area resort? type of thing. Kind of. It was like an area slightly on the resort, maybe a little bit off of it, but uh, real authentic Mexican type thing. And Basically, I walked in and started dancing with uh, a girl... I don't know. Any way I tell this story is going to be bad. (laughs) 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 Uh, I don't don't know. I'll just say this. I I started dancing with a girl, and it was to spite someone else. You make your pee-pee very hard. (laughs) And uh, I was drunk, so I was being a little obnoxious. Like, I wasn't like, Touching her, but I was like saying some foul shit. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, and uh, she kind of grinded on me, so I like thought it was like fair game type of thing. No, it was not. Um, so I was saying some stuff to her and dancing, and then her huge ass boyfriend came over, and then he mentioned something about the person, <laughs> and was like, "Yeah, no wonder why this person's not here with you, you little fucking dickhead." And I punched him in the face as hard as I could. And he dropped back and smacked onto the floor really hard. It was kind of a big guy, so when he fell, it made a really loud noise. (laughs) Uh, I I don't remember this part that specifically, but I remember falling to the ground. So I'm pretty sure someone hit me or someone tackled me. I'm not sure, but after I did that, I fell to the ground. um, And I kind of came to again. When I was right outside of it, and I can't tell if you're like looking at the phone or looking at me with your glasses. It looks mad funny. Oh, um, I was just waiting. So to... It looks, it's just a glare. It looks like <laughs> it looks half sucking. like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, when I came to again, I was outside and I was smoking a butt right outside the same place that I, like outside the plaza, like 30 feet from where it just happened. <laughs> I, was, I was smoking a butt, and like two of the fucking, like, like one was a bartender, and the other one was just someone who, like, worked there but wasn't working at the time. He just came up to me. He's like, yeah, man, that was wild. He's like, I can't believe you punched that guy. He's like, really lucky he didn't call the cops. He's like, you know, if you would have gone straight to the Mexican prison here. He's like, you don't, like, <laughs> he's like, you don't get, like, tried because, like, it's a tourist. You're kind of on a resort. He's like, you'd go straight to jail, Mexican jail. And he's like, all it takes is punching someone. He's like, you just punched someone. And I was like, like drunk. So like, I was just, fuck off. I was just like, <laughs> okay, call him. All right, whatever. Smoke of the button. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah, so I almost went to a Mexican prison. Yeah, so that's like the most I can beat around the bush in that story. <laughs> and anyone who knows that story and who I was in <laughs> would already fuck. Yeah, uh, um, I guess, do you have anything else? You want to just do the military? Yeah, one of the, one of the gayest point of my life was, <laughs> what? was when I compared two guys' testicles. Okay, yeah, I guess that is <laughs> probably it, huh? So, um, we fucking were up in New York and shit for three weeks, and this guy had huge balls. Great, okay. Huge balls, I always used to show him. 
And that was just, he like, just like whip them out. Yeah. And you're like, oh, why do you have like a bag of fruit? That's your nutsack. Um, but yeah, he was a huge ball <laughs> guy. We did a lot of gay shit. Um, nice. But then someone was like, nah, man, someone's balls are bigger than that. And we were like, no way. No one's bigger than this guy's balls. So in New York, fucking, I was at the gate. We were like, face thing we were doing. And the guy that was supposed to have the big balls came up. I was like, supposed to bring him in. I was like, you can't come in unless you take your balls out. And willingly, he took his ball bag out. And the other kid was there, and I was like, you guys need to put your balls on the gate. And we all stood around and compared <laughs> them of whose balls were bigger. It was just like six of us surrounding two ball sacks. Just two nut sacks, <laughs> yeah. So cute. Whose was bigger? The other kid. Yeah. He got him, that bro. That was the verdict. And it was like, wow. I think he has ball cancer. And I was going to say, like, us, he, he doesn't have like <laughs> elephantitis or anything, right? Like, like, yeah, you probably have cancer. And he's like, whatever, man. I don't know what to tell you. He's like, feels <laughs> fine, man. Still fucking. <laughs> it's like, cool, cool, bro. Um, yeah, yeah. That's one. I think it's scarier when the balls are that big and the dick doesn't match. That's <laughs> that's the scarier part. That's when it's like, dude, you should definitely go to a doctor. <laughs> like, get those like removed. You got glass ones. So. Yeah, as soon as you can. Was that your fucking military story for this? Yeah, part? I thought of that the other day. I'll think of a better one next time. <laughs> I thought you were gonna come with like some long story. It's just this. Yeah, well, you want another time, gayest thing I did? <laughs> another gay thing. Well, that wasn't gay, but um. And basic, bro, fucking, someone was in the, like, changing shower area. Okay. And we heard, like, a fucking explosion, dude. Like, the loudest fucking noise, bro. We were like, what the fuck was that, dude? Like, we jumped out of bed, like, ran in there. Like, we didn't know if someone, like, shot themselves, bro. Like, we're fucking around with, like, right. something. Yeah. Walking this kid's butt-ass naked, dude. With his foot up on the fucking bench. And he's like, howdy, fellas. I dropped something. I figured you guys would show up here. Oh my god! <laughs> it was the funniest fucking thing. Dude. Dude, it was like spread legged, just fucking just butt just, naked, bro. Yeah. Dong dingling, bro. And we're just like, what the fuck? Nice. Dude? Yeah. <laughs> I hear a lot of that shit happens in in, in all types of camps, military yeah. camps. I shouldn't just say camps. Some silly shit. Oh, boy camp too. Yeah, I guess. Raised. Yeah, that's a <laughs> good point. Yeah, immediate. My mind always just snaps to concentration camps for some reason. I don't know why. There's Every probably time a lot of work. rape in there too. Yeah, that's also a good point. So no matter what, that that works. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Bro. Bullshitted our way through a whole fucking episode, dude. We got nothing this episode. Dude, Disney just announced all the shit. Uh, Star Wars announced all the shit they're putting in Disney Plus, bro. Holy fuck. Is it mad shit? Rangers of the New Republic. I don't know what that means, but that's one. Another one, Ahsoka. Two, Visions. Willow. Wait. So these are either movies or shows? Dude, there's, yeah, there's like four shows it looks like coming on. Damn. Like series. So five including The Mandalorian. Like, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, The Mandalorian, I'm assuming, is an ongoing series. It doesn't seem like that's going to like just end anytime soon. No. Okay. They have like Kenobi, bro. That's pretty fucking. They're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing now, well, dude. It fucking took them long enough, dude. I heard uh, heard a lot of pretty bullshit arguments with uh, Disney Plus. Not like with pe- people pretty much saying Disney Plus was like horrible for what the money was type of thing. Oh yeah, like, it's yeah, just it's... like OG movies. Exactly. Yeah, they're like if we want to watch these movies, like they own most of the movies. They fucking yeah. That's the only reason why I haven't gotten Disney Plus is because I own every fucking Marvel movie. So it's like yeah, that, I... that's true. But yeah, I don't know Mandalorian. I gotta get that trial. Damn dude, that's pretty fucking sick. All those. That is fire. I'm a huge Star Wars guy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to watch walk back that HBO Max talk I was saying last week. You might be right. I think it might be the day it releases in theaters, it releases to the streaming service. I don't think all of those drop I'm on the genius, exact bro. same day. Um, I actually thought about that when I was editing it, because you're like, no, like they're not all dropping on the same day. And I'm like... Yeah, yeah, they are. And then I thought about it. I was like, how the fuck would all those movies be done? <laughs> They'd all be done, fully shot, and all like made. Like, they're different production companies. Why would all of them be done at the same time? So I, it didn't make sense. So I, I was wrong. 
the second they show up in theaters, oh, okay. they're like on HBO same Max. Day as that. Yes. Which is still a pretty Which fucking still pretty crazy. Fucking like, lit. Yeah. Dude, if I see some dope movie, well, I did see some dope ones. I'm just going to get HBO Max, watch the fucking movie like the same day it comes out, and then unsubscribe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll pay the fucking 10 or 20 bucks, whatever the fuck it is. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but if you probably could get a fuck, it's probably a movie coming out a month. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Well, I'm thinking so like. It's like the price of probably one movie took in a month where you get all that shit in movie like on demand. Yeah. That ain't a bad deal. No, nah, yeah, that's not bad. I don't know yet. Fuck them. It depends how much it is, too. Because if HBO Max is like fucking 60 bucks a month, then that's a little much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Fucking, and I could see it being that. Yeah. Because HBO has always been kind of expensive, to my knowledge, but. Ugh. Oh, God. All right, uh, do you think of any gun to your heads? No. Gun to your head, would you rather have a toenail pulled or a fingernail pulled? And by pulled, I mean ripped off by, like, pliers. That's Probably my toenail. I'd rather do my pinky. Because toenails are small. It's not that big, and... I feel like my toes are more sensitive. <laughs> I feel like, but I feel like you use your finger, like you can just put a band aid on that. You have your sh- sock and then your shooter cover it, your hand. Mm. You hit it. Have you ever had a foot injury and then walked around in shoes and shit or True. socks and shoes? It's pretty fucking Dude, painful. Dude, I got my toenails, my big toenail fucking. And that fucking hurt when growing. you had socks and shoes on after, right? It kept getting mad fucking in the way. Or did you have like a cast or something? No, oh, this is a band aid. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I feel like when I fucked my, um, I, I like broke a toe. And I like, it was like excruciating no matter what. Oh, no shit, really. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a big bandage on it. Yeah, I guess I'm going piggy now. <laughs> Do I see something gross, bro? I guess. Should I keep this in the episode? This is my, uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. Do watch out, fucking. Dude, he just. Yeah, I don't think I want to watch that. Dude, yep. dude, what? Dude, 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 this is the best part, bro. You gotta, yep, dude, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, he just goes. In. Oh, oh my god, dude, isn't that wild, dude? Uh, this is yours. This is your video. Yeah, I can't. Uh, when it comes to like things like pussing or any type of like, you know, like how we were talking about pimple popping videos last week. Yeah. So you know, uh, like when someone like pops like a zit and it like shoots the like the juice like it's a huge like assist, then it uh, like squirts yeah. everywhere. I'll throw up on those. It was just us talking at the. I, I'm gonna end the episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this was episode 29 of the Brutal View podcast. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, yes, this was a bullshit episode. We don't have much to talk about, but uh, we'll try to come back next week. You know, dealing with life shit. We'll be back. We'll fucking might have more guests, might have some stuff for Christmas. We're going to do some Patreon stuff on Omegle, and we're also going to do some Patreon stuff on Pornhub. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, everyone have a good day. (laughs) Yes. Um, Yeah, shit. I I probably, I have to chop this again. I don't know. I have to be right? Yeah. Fuck it.